my friends, Lucas Smith Miller Card Trading here. It's release day again, and still, uh, among other things that are were released today, uh, March 27, 2024, Panini Elite Extra Edition. Pretty excited about this. I've actually got two of these bad boys. Five cards per pack, five cards per box, five cards per pack, five packs per box. I knew I could get it out there. So this is a prospect driven release. Eight autographs per box. Pretty awesome. The number of autos you get out of here. There's a lot of numbered cards and a lot of different parallels. Of course, we'll be looking for the one of one black die cuts. I'm sure those are pretty rare. Uh, but we're looking for Paul Skeens and Dylan Cruz and, you know, any number of the top 10 prospects, top 20 prospects, autographs, numbered parallels, and whatever else you can think of. So I'm just itching to crack these open. Before I do, if you could leave a like on my video, it would really help me out. Go check out my channel, subscribe, and I will appreciate that. So let's do it. 2023. Yeah, it's a 2023 release uh, that just came out. So right now is a funny time of year where there's 2024 cards and 2023 cards being released at the same time. All right. I opened a couple of these from last year and I uh, did hit a few a few nice numbered things. Um, some really low numbered memorabilia cards I remember getting out of this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's hope for something big. Oh, are you kidding me? I no, I thought that was a uh, gold vinyl, <laughs> but it's not gold. It's just uh, it has that vinyl superfractor type of um, pattern on it, huh? Interesting. I don't see a number on it anywhere, so must just be a. Uh, type of pattern I tried to look up a checklist and I couldn't really find a satisfactory one so these already are looking a lot nicer than they were in last year's release uh, Bryce Eldridge oh here's our first auto so it's a patch auto right on number to 99 prospect material signatures Nazan Zanatello Flip that one up. So already we're pulling a patch auto. Cool. Oh, there's another auto right behind it. Matthew Wood, Hidden Gems. Right on. And then we got Chase Jaworski. That looks like it's unnumbered. Hidden Gems. Right on. There's going to be a ton of names that I don't recognize. And that's typical for this. Uh, nice looking cards though. Um, definitely fancier than they uh, were in the last year's release. This is a Aspirations insert, I, I guess. Um, oh, that's numbered on the back. 136 out of 349. All right. Cool. Good first pack. Let's see if we can get any autos of people's names I recognize. That would be cool. Okay. Higher Learning. Braden Taylor. Taylor. 
Yariel Cordero. That's a... Is that a... Oh, I thought it was a die cut, but it's just the, the way it looks right there. That is number to four ninety nine. Here's another patch auto, right on. Uh, Prospect Material Signatures, Drew Hackenberg, and I've heard his name before. That's number to ninety nine. Oh my. Just chocked full of autos, these things are. Gotta love that. Patch autos are even better. Right on. Have to spread these out a little. There we go. Okay, and next we've got DeAndre Smith, Hidden Gems. I don't know if that's a gold or a yellow parallel. Uh, ooh, number to 10. I'm guessing that must be a gold. Sweet, number to 10. Alright, that would be our lowest numbered card so far. Okay, and last but not least, we've got... Rat loud, rat louder. I think that's it. Unnumbered. Oh. Okay. Primary colors: Chase Dolander. Interesting name. Uh, not numbered on that one. We got Blake Mitchell. Oh, we've got Panini points. Oh, my. There's prime numbers. Blake Mitchell, that's numbered to 200. Here's our auto. We've got Travis Honeyman. St. Louis. I'm going to pull a Panini Points off because I think that code, yeah, the code is exposed. So 250 Panini Points isn't a whole lot. I don't know if you, if you guys have ever been on the rewards page of the Panini website. There's all kinds of autos you can get for 250 and less, but... Seems like they're all washed up or no-namers that, that nobody wanted. You know what I mean? Colin Hauk. That is unnumbered. All right, but it's been a while since I got Panini points for sure. All right, this one feels thicky. I think it's got a fatty mem card in here. Now, here's a cool-looking card. Future Star Status. Brock Wilkin. Wow, that's neat looking. Is that numbered? Nope. Not numbered. Just kind of an insert. That's neat looking though. Alright, we got Justin Reimer. That's Aspirations. Blue 3 to 349. Alright, here's our auto. We got Jaden Ham. All right, Jaden Ham. Behind that, wow, Rhett Louder, numbered in uh, 49 memorabilia card. Cincinnati. I think that must be a red. And I ran out of thick card sleeves, so we're just going to have to place that one up there. Okay. Jaden Ham, prime numbers. Number 200. And we got Yan Yandel Ricardo, uh, unnumbered base card. Okay, last pack of the first box. So far we have one, two, three, four, five, six autos. 
So I guess our last two will be in this pack here. Enrique Bradfield Jr. That's a nice card. I recognize his name for sure. For Baltimore, that's a spellbound insert numbered to 199. Then we've got Cole Kerrig. That is numbered to 499. Behind that, we've got Justin Campbell. Impact Impressions. It's a nice one, too. Right on. I like their, their designs uh, this year are much, I don't know, much fancier, much more, um, I don't know, I want to say glamorous looking, but more metallic for sure. Um, right on. That's a nice one. I don't want to cover up my, is this the one number to 10? Yeah, it is. I need more stands. There we go. And we've got a mem card here at the end. Ty Pete for Seattle. Right on. Just a plain straight up mem card. Uh, doesn't look like it's numbered. No. First round materials. 2023 uh, round one pick number 30. Excellent. That right there. Okay. And our last card of the first pack, Garrett Forrester. Elite Extra Edition Base Card. Okay, pretty sweet, huh, folks? So many autos, so many neat looking inserts. Uh, a lot, a lot of sort of unknown um, prospect names. Unknown to me, anyways. I don't pay a ton of attention to the uh, lower level prospects, but I'm getting more into it and I find it interesting. Uh, to see these players when they're real young on cards like this okay box number two so we got our eight autos out of that we got a card number to 10 uh let's see what else i don't know i don't know what else let's see if we can get a top tier name out of this box Let's get a Paul Skeens auto. Okay. Jacob Wilson, Spellbound. Uh, Chase Davis. Aspirations. Number to 349. Alright, our first auto is Dylan Head. And that's a die cut. Three ninety-nine. I thought for a second it was a black, uh, black die cut, which is the one of ones that we're looking for. Because it is black, but it's just the base version, I think. The base die cut. And our next auto is Olivia Picardo. Olivia Picardo, uh, unnumbered on that one. All right. And our last card is Justin Reimer, unnumbered base card. I do like their new inserts, though. They're really neat looking. There's another Enrique Bradfield Jr. I don't think that's the same card I got before. Uh, it might be, though. That is an unnumbered insert. Then we've got Albert Fermin. Uh, status. Dominican Prospect League. And that's out of $4.99. We got Mac Horvath. That's a name I uh, recognize for sure. I know him, Mac Horvath. I got a card of him out of something else recently. I'm trying to think of what it was. All right, 
Mac Horvath. And our next auto is Annabelle Beltre. That's actually on card as well. DPL, Dominican Prospect League Signatures. Right on, that's a really nice looking card. Surprised to get an on-card auto. All right, behind that, Albert Fermin again. Okay, higher learning, Mac Horvath again. <laughs> and that's an unnumbered insert. Then we've got a blue here of Nassan Zanatello. I've heard his name too. And that is number to 349. Here's another DPL guy, uh, Eric Pena. That's actually on card too. Oh my. Right on, right behind him. Check this out. Too bad it's not an auto. We got a Paul Skeen's Future Threads. Right on. That's unnumbered. Unfortunately, it's not an auto. First pick in the draft. All right. Then we've got Leody Vries. Oh, Leo DeVries. <laughs> okay, I totally read that wrong. Of course. All right, our DPL guy goes here. Two more packs. I love these cards. These are really cool. We've got another Enrique Bradfield Jr. That's so bizarre. I think that's the third one of that same uh, insert I've got. Then we've got AJ Ewing, uh, green to $4.99. Behind that, Jack Weninger. Uh, that's a uh, base auto. Ooh, that's a nice one. DPL uh, patch. Angel Perez. Uh, not numbered though. I'm surprised it's not numbered. It look, well, it looks plenty blue to me, but I guess it's just, uh, it's just its base version. And then we've got Mike Bov, Bovi, Bove, something like that. Okay, last pack, last chance to get a Paul Skeen's auto. All right, and here's that uh, fancy star insert, future star status. That is Aiden Miller. Is that one? No, that one's not numbered either. Okay. Then we've got Trevor Harrison. Base card. Behind that, Logan Tanner. Catcher for Cincinnati. Uh, I think that's our last. Nope, there's one more auto behind him. Really cool looking um, insert though. Impact impressions. Behind that, Roni Garcia. Another DPL prime numbers auto. And Brock Wilkin. Okay. So, we didn't get uh, Dylan Cruz or Paul Skeen's auto, but we did get some really cool autos, a couple of nice uh, memorabilia cards, including Paul Skeen's Future Threads. Right on. Okay, I probably don't want to go through every one. I mean, I maybe we will. Let's go through them. What the heck? Bunch of autos. One, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I uh, should have gotten 16. Oh well. I may have missed one somewhere. I may not have. I don't know. Okay, we've got Eric Pena, Annabelle Beltre, and this these impact impressions are really neat looking. Justin Campbell, insert auto. Roni Garcia, there's a Logan Tanner impact impressions. We got Jack Weninger, uh, Mac Horvath, uh... Dylan Head. Uh, that one's a die cut. Then we got Matthew Wood. Hidden Gems. It's a nice one. And then DeAndre Smith. This is a gold, I believe. And it is number 10. Uh, 3 of 10. And then Olivia Picardo. Jaden Ham, And Travis Honeyman. Oh, I know why I'm missing an auto. Because I got the swine panini points. That's right. And then, the two pretty cool looking patch autos. Number two, let's see, uh, 99 and 99. Both to 99. Drew Hackenberg and Nizan Sonatello. And then, uh, basic Rhett Louder. Uh, patch number to 49 and the Paul Skeens. Okay, my friends, what do you think about Elite Extra Edition? This is a, um, not a very expensive release, so you can buy several of them and hope to get the big card. So, thanks for watching all the way till the end. I appreciate that. Leave a like, go subscribe on my channel, that would be really awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.